Hello everyone, this is Dusty McKenzie at Cabrillo College. Welcome to Introduction to Archaeology. I'm excited to get this class started because I love archaeology and hopefully by the end of the semester you will too. I have posted this video to our homepage as a way to provide students some basic information that will allow them to hit the ground running when the semester starts. I also want to take a bit of time to introduce myself to the class. So it is, uh, it's clear that you've found the homepage. Please review the materials on this homepage, complete the video, and then review the syllabus link below. The syllabus contains critical information about how this course operates and student responsibilities. This information includes our late policies, our academic honesty policies, an outline of the course schedule, and some of the topical issues that we'll be focusing on. So after you thoroughly review the syllabus, please proceed to the modules by clicking the modules button on the left-hand side of the screen. Students will find that this entire course is organized by units and modules. The class contains three units. Each unit is five weeks long. Each unit then contains three distinct modules. The first two modules of each unit are two weeks long, and these are the modules that are content driven. In these modules, students will find academic articles, textbook chapters, movies, YouTube clips, some of my own uh, pre recorded videos, and more. I strongly uh, suggest using the first two weeks, or excuse me, the first week of each module to review as much of the content as possible. At the end of the first week of each module, students will be responsible for posting to a graded discussion board. Students will need to post an original discussion as well as respond to two students' posts to earn full credit. These discussions are designed to replicate those um, personal communications and debates that we have in in-person classes. At the end of the second week, students will be responsible for completing an online quiz. These quizzes are always open notes, so please take notes while you're reading and watching the content and then use those notes to help you on the quizzes. Also remember to hit the submit button when you're done because the quizzes are timed. At the end of the second week, students will also be responsible for submitting a homework assignment. The homework assignment um, is usually pretty short, two to three pages, and it must be uploaded to Canvas via a PDF or a Word style document. Please do not email me your homework assignments. The final module of each unit is only one week long. It doesn't contain new materials, but it is focused on the completion of a project, usually a project that requires a little bit of background research and writing. Again, those will also need to be um, uploaded to Canvas um, rather than emailed to the instructor. Now that's the way that this class is going to be organized throughout the entire semester. Unit one is one exception because it starts with module zero. This is a brief orientation module to help you understand how this class is formatted and also some of the services that Cabrillo provides. There is a brief quiz at the end of module zero. It will be due by January 30th, don't forget. Some other important information. Students should note that this is an asynchronous class, meaning that you are not responsible for attending real-time Zoom meetings. Students are free to work at their own pace as long as those deadlines are met. That being said, I'm always here to help you out and we can schedule uh, Zoom meetings, uh, office hours, teleconferences, um, or, or other forms of communication if you need help. Uh, next, uh, please note that all the learning materials um, in this course are provided for free. They're linked to Canvas or in Canvas or embedded in Canvas. Um, you will not need to spend any money on textbooks. I think textbooks are insanely expensive and are oftentimes cost prohibitive to working students. 
I have really tried to make sure that all the learning material is accessible to all students. If there's a problem with any of the documents or other learning materials, please reach out to me as soon as possible so I can make sure that you can access those, those materials. All right, um, a little bit about myself briefly. I, um, I've been a professional archeologist for um, over 20 years. I've been teaching archeology span classes at Cabrillo since 2008. I've worked all throughout the western part of the United States and Mexico, Australia, Germany, and a few other spots. My research interest really focuses on the, the native cultures of coastal California and specifically Native American fishing practices. Um, I am often asked why I like doing and teaching archaeology, and I usually correct those people and say, I don't like it, I love it, and I love it because archaeology provides everybody an opportunity regardless of what their passions are or what their existing skill sets are. My own story reflects that. I have been a diehard fisherman since I was about eight years old and I'm absolutely uh, passionate about fishing and I turned that passion into a lifelong career studying the way people fished in the past. I have friends that are very passionate about scuba diving and some of them are doing underwater archeology. span I have a lot of friends that are really passionate about beer and some of those friends are actually studying the cultural significance of beer um, in Peru amongst the Inca and pre-Incan societies. Um, archaeology also provides an incredible opportunity to travel and crisscross the globe. So hopefully um, you'll find something in archaeology that's interesting to you. Uh, like I've stated, I'm here to help you out in any way, so don't hesitate to reach out if you if you have any questions or comments, we can always organize a Zoom meeting or some other form of communication. And finally, I am looking forward to getting to know all of you over the course of the semester. Anyway, take care, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you shortly.